I can't believe we graduated from our sweetness schools. Tomorrow we all get to go to the lollipop factory and get our jobs. <gasps> all of our dreams are about to come true. Yay! There is a land where dreams always come true. Where hard working smiles will always see you through. Just do your best and play by the rules. You'll have social mobility, Porsches and jewels. The unbelievably sweet alpacas. There it is, the lollipop factory. This is so awesome. I hope we all get to work together. You must be our new alpacas! I'm Doug Banshaw, Assistant VP of Human Resources for Lollipop Inc., a subsidiary of TWP International and the Venton Group. I taste yummy! Yay! This is the Lollymatic 5000. It can take molten sugar and make it a solid treat in 0.5 seconds. Now, I bet you're all wondering what your jobs are. Happy? Your father is the finest man I've ever worked for. We're thrilled to welcome you as our brand new junior VP of Synergy. Here's where you'll work. Ooh, what's a VP of Synergy? I have no idea, but it pays high six figures and comes with stock options. Yay! What about me? I went to engineering school and studied lollipop manufacturing. Great news! We have a lot of management opportunities at some of our other plants, where we pay low wages because the countries are poor and have a lot less regulation. Places like Bangladesh, Honduras, Cotter, and Gary, Indiana. And all our dreams come true in those places, too? Well, sure they do, so long as you're not gay and don't believe in free speech. I create insulin resistance, which dramatically increases the severity of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Whee! And what about a job for me? I don't know who you are. I'm Sunshine. I went to PS 152. We had metal detectors, and our books were 30 years old. Oh, um, we just laid off a bunch of manufacturing workers when we got the new Lollymatic. But... I thought all of our dreams would come true. <laughs> you are gullible, aren't you? Yay! Seriously, guys, give it a friggin' rest. I'm sorry, Rainbow. Sunshine! I'm sorry, Spitshine, but you should take after your hardworking friend Happy here. So, because Happy had rich parents and went to a fancy school and I didn't, I'm screwed? Listen, Missy. The economy changed. There's huge opportunity now, especially if you take advantage of global trade and new technology to innovate, disrupt, and transform existing businesses. That's what Happy and her family did. That's why they're so friggin' rich. But it's not just trade and technology. The system has become rigged. Government has been favoring the rich at the expense of the poor. The rich pay lower tax rates than ever, but minimum wage hasn't kept up with inflation. I'm a maker, you're a taker. You're Paris Hilton with hooves. It's 130 degrees right now in Qatar. Girls, girls, meow. Put your hooves back in. Look, I'm sorry we don't have better jobs for everyone, but sales are down. People just aren't buying lollipops like they used to. Duh, with wages so low, who has money for lollipops? Hey, I just noticed something. You three perfectly represent the crucial economic trends of the last 40 years. Since the mid-1970s, about half of all economic growth went to the top 0.1% of earners. That's like you, Happy! The other half of growth was split among the top 20% of earners, people with solid education and specialized skills. Like you, Giggles! And the bottom 80% of earners, the vast majority of Americans, have seen no increase in their wages at all. Many make less now than their parents did 40 years ago. That's you, Sunshine! Well, that's how the market works. Can't blame anybody. <laughs> Actually, most economists believe that rising inequality is the result of both market forces and government policy. And finding a way for the economy to grow and see its benefits shared broadly is the crucial political and economic challenge of our age. I thought he'd never shut up. <laughs> that bit my head! Ha, 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 ha!